All right, let's do this. 2019 Patrick F Style 2 109 board review. This is easily my favorite board I've ever owned, and over time it keeps getting better and better as I get more and more used to the board. So here are a few reasons why I love this board so much. Number one, it's a really good size for me. I'm on the heavier side for your typical windsurfer, and especially for freestyle, so the extra volume really helps me out. I've used 100 litre freestyle boards in the past and have had a great time when the wind gets up, but there were often moments where people were just planing around me, and as most windsurfers know, that's the most frustrating feeling. Number two, earlier planing. This kind of ties into the first point, but at 109 litres, you're already floating comfortably on the water, so planing has become much easier and faster for me. I've even experienced planing properly at 18 to 20 knots. For me, that was just unheard of. I normally need at least 22 knots. The shape is also a big factor when it comes to early planing. The board design on the bottom is very similar to a slalom board, so its responsiveness to get out the water and start to plane is very quick. I also think that buying the board hardly used contributes to the board's ability to plane just a fraction quicker. Number three, space on the board for manoeuvres. When it comes to the basic moves like tacking and jibing, there's plenty of room to place your feet, making the margin for error a bit higher, and I felt both my tacks and jibes improve because of it. If you make a slight mistake, it's likely that you'll recover and be able to stay on the board through to the exit. If I was on a smaller board, there would be a higher chance of ending up in the water. Number four, planing jibes. The success rate for planing carb jibes has certainly increased having used this board. As long as the rail is properly engaged, I found jibing to be really comfortable in loads of different conditions. Number five, comfortable to ride. The F-Style has a slight free ride feel to the board, and the fact that it's a power box means that if you're not into freestyle, you could probably get away with using a regular free ride fin and still have a sick time. The foot pads and foot straps are super comfortable, and I've been happy to use the board with and without boots on. When I've been out in flat water, the board is really in its element. It really feels like you're just riding on a cloud. Number six, first freestyle moves. It took me a long time to get my first air jibe, but the progression was accelerated using this board. My attempts got better and better, and I think because I had a higher planing time, I had more chances to actually practice the moves I was working on. So far, I've been able to consistently land air jibes and have done a few spots as well. Number seven, stable in the air for high jumps. I've been out a few times in some medium sized waves and doing high jumps I actually felt super comfortable in the air and with the added surface area I found I could easily get the wind under the board and actually float a lot higher. Number eight, it's very fast. Because the board is very flat it actually goes like a rocket when it's up and running. It will also hold that speed when it comes to doing moves. That really helps as you want as much speed as possible going into and through the move. Number nine, it's fully carbon. I'm not afraid to throw it around a bit, obviously on the water, but the point is it will take a heavy landing from a heavy rider. Time to move on to the disadvantages. Number one, sometimes it's too big. When the wind gets up to 30 knots, containing the 109 litre beast can be challenging. Usually the wind gets under the board and makes it hard to control. I'll usually put the UJ right the way forward to keep the nose down, but sometimes when it's above 30 knots, it's just too much to hold down. Number two, it's not a freestyle wave board. If you're looking for a board that's more suited to freestyle wave, it's not the best choice. Because of its sharp rails, trying to turn on the face of a wave is pretty challenging. Number three, dealing with chop. I'm not gonna lie, it's terrible in chop. If it's super choppy, you'll feel every single bump, mostly because there's no rocker. If it's choppy, I'd recommend bearing further off the wind to try and go faster and skim on the surface of the chop also do shorter runs so try and tack or jibe early. Like with all freestyle boards you'll have to get used to the style of riding. No longer will you be able to put all your weight on the fin because it's just too small and you'll keep spinning out. Instead get used to riding on the rail of the board with more weight on the front foot. I absolutely love this board and if you're above 80 kg I'd consider getting something slightly bigger than 100 litres especially if you're new to freestyle. I'll be keeping this board for a while as I've got really used to the feel of it and it really suits my spot. 
So that's about it. A simple review and my personal opinion on the 2019 Patrick 109 F-Style 2. Thanks for tuning in.